gets when you put two Minnesotans and a guy from Wisconsin together. Chris, the week in sports talk. Get ready for some sports chatter, where there's sure to be laughing, arguing, and maybe even crying. Now, here are your hosts, Mike Reeves, Matt Benz, and Greg Green Bay Bauman. What is going on, Twist Nation? Welcome, Welcome man. Here, here we are. What have we got here? Episode 29? 29. 29. 29. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eric, Eric Dickerson. Dickerson. You, you think, think it's not? not? No, I know it is. I just, I didn't know he was going to go with this. You, you better, better know it is. is. I didn't know. I, when I have an opportunity, opportunity to say dick, dick on, on Twist, I, I do it. it. So, so episode, episode 29, Eric Dickerson, Dickerson thank, thank you for tuning in, Twist Nation. We are live. We are at NBC Studios in Northeast Minneapolis. That's my boy. Yes, Northeast, baby. Little call to action for all of our... Listeners and viewers out there, yeah. if, if you, you love, love the show, share it. Yeah. Please share it. Check, Check out our, our website, twistsportstalk.com. We are part of the RTF, RTF Sports Network, Network at rtfsportsnetwork.com. Yeah. And, and newly added, added to the Twin, Twin Cities Network. Network. We're going to kick off the show this week, week with an interview, interview brought to you by Bricks Boatworks. Boatworks. for all of your boating needs. So thank you, Bricks Boatworks. We're going to bring on... Eric, Eric Nordquist, Nordo, keeping the keeping theme, theme of, of the fan, fan live, live for you, Twist, Twist Nation. Nation. Nordo, Nordo, what's going what's on? Going on? Nordo, Nordo, what's, what's up? up? Oh, God bless you guys. I think last time we did this on the phone, uh, now we're doing it via video. I think both sides of this are thinking we should just do phone again next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry about Greg. Greg. coming up and and like you guys i'm sure we're we're waiting for sports to start up again i'm a soccer fan so i'm pumped about that but nba major league baseball get your shit together stuff like that hey i swore there, there it is, is. I'm, proud I'm proud of you i'm proud of you that's awesome oh, <laughs> mike was ready to force you to do yeah. it in yeah. five minutes Long story short, it's just, it's an absolute mental grind for all of us. And uh, trying to remember that it's also nearing summertime and it's beautiful out. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. I mean, I, mean, I have enjoyed, enjoyed the outdoors, outdoors as, much as much as I can, can even with working. working. It's, it's been, been awesome. So, so first, first thing I kind of want to dive into is the NBA, NBA playoff, playoff format. How, How do you feel, feel about that? that? Do you think, think it can be successful? successful? Yeah, I think it will be. I know over the last couple of days, and, and we've done it on the radio, where we're just hyperventilating over this uh, this long novella of protocols that the players will be forced to work with uh, when they return to play in Orlando. I, I think it's going to be great. I mean, ultimately, the uh, the format of the, of the play-in bits, I'd be pissed off if I'm the... Uh, the Phoenix Suns right now, you know, you're six games out. You're going to go there and basically play eight games. You have zero freaking shot of gaining six games of ground and eight games to make the playoffs. So, so you know, it's kind of a short run for some of these guys. Uh, there's going to be an asterisk on it, I'm sure, for many fans that are annoyed with, uh, you know, the three, four-month layoff and then this little uh, dog and pony show down in Florida. But I am so hungry for sports that uh, when I'm not down at Bricks Boatworks in Shakopee, all I'm thinking about is trying to, you know, find something to bet on, something to watch, Korean baseball, any of it, I'm all in. So I, I think it's actually going to work really smoothly, but uh, as we all know, we're going to figure out uh, how they deal with the first positive test of a player for COVID-19, what that looks like, and, uh, you know, that'll be uh, a big sign for me. You know, you know I, was, I, was, I, was I was thinking, thinking you just said it when it comes to the positive test. They're real big right now when you listen to all the networks about, you know, oh, this guy tested positive or this many guys from this college. Do you really think that they're going to test guys once the season starts? I mean, are they willing to lose LeBron or Giannis, you know, with a 
Don't ever put Giannis in the same sentence as LeBron again. <laughs> Giannis is actually an MVP. No, okay. Oh, here we go. No, so what I'm saying is that oh. these guys, they're not going to announce that these guys are positive but asymptomatic. It's just going to be if guys are showing signs, right? Well, that's so... Uh, the CDC recently came out and said, and you know, it's what a weird world we live in where uh, everything's politicized now and we uh, we may or may not trust like our own government health agencies as to the information we're getting. Just such a weird world. But they came out and said that asymptomatic people rarely spread the virus. So that's interesting. Um I've been saying the same thing, my man. I don't know how in the hell they're going to say in the Eastern Conference Finals that uh, Chris Middleton is out for game three, four, five, and six with the freaking virus. You can't do that. You just can't. And so I I think it's always been about as soon as they started opening things up again, how – I mean, it was obvious. We were going to get so many more tests, and we're just – we're just – all hyperventilating over the the positive tests when really the hospitalizations and ultimately the people that take the ultimate L and lose their lives over this thing, that's the important stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a virus. Most of us are going to get it. So, I mean, at least that's my viewpoint on it. I'm no Dr. Fauci. I must make that disclaimer, obviously. (laughs) And I don't want people to die. I got to make that disclaimer as well. So I'm not a monster. I'm just like everyone else. But personally, if you got the players in a room to open a vein, I think they're going to hide positive tests. I tr- I just truly believe it. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, if it's, uh, I mean, if it's back into the bench guy, like, you know, I know you're, you're a massive uh, Wisconsin sports fan. One of the Lopez brothers gets it. Who cares? You know, hopefully <laughs> it's not the one that blocks all the shots, but you still got the Greek free and uh, you still got, uh, you got Middleton and all those guys. So, you know, you hope that it's not a star that you got to hide under the covers. But at some point, somebody's going to get it after the first round of the playoffs. They're going to bring in the gals. They're going to bring in the kids. Just little disease, bacteria, you know, ridden kids. <laughs> the Petri uh, dishes. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna be playing doubles ping pong, even though there's only supposed to be singles. You know, <laughs> somebody's going to get it. And so, for me, when it's... You know, the, the symptoms matter, right? Like, you hear, oh, he's got a fever of 104, he's vomiting. Like, that's awful. But if you just hear, yeah, this guy tested positive and, uh, yeah, he didn't know that he was sick. Oh, well, that's good. That's like most people. Yeah. So that's all right. So how do they deal with that? I mean, it's the it's the public perception. I think there's a fair amount of the fan base that could not care less. They just want to see basketball. There's another fair amount of the fan base, and uh, they would be super pissed if somebody tested positive and they still played and it's so irresponsible. But they're all in that bubble. So, you know, the concept of saying, well, it's not about you, it's about grandma. Well, there's no grandmas down in Orlando. So I personally am not worried about their health. But, uh, But that's up to them. That's not me, and other fans think differently. So... Um, I'm excited to see how they handle that first big spot positive test. Nordo, what's your expectation level this year and excitement level for the Vikes? Ooh. <clears throat> well, my excitement level is off the charts, man. I mean, typically I would already be doing Wednesday shows down there. Would have had, I mean, mini camps. What is it, June 20th? So mini camp probably would have been right around right now, maybe next week last part of June before they take the six week layoff to go to training camp. And uh, I've just, I've missed the normalcy of that so much. And, you know, like most people, like you guys, you know, we, we love sports and uh, you know, mentally, physically, and otherwise this whole pandemic and in recent events has really uh, thrown a wrench in all of it. So um, I have a normal year. I would have massive expectations in terms of the ability for them to build offensively with the third year of Kirk Cousins, the continuity of the offense. Um, I'll admit I'm a little worried defensively for the Vikings. I'm a little worried about uh, Afadio Denebo, who's been a really good bit player. Um, Afadio Denebo now a starting defensive end. You know, he did his best work on the interior as a guy that played 30% 30% of the defensive snaps and big spot downs and stuff, making plays. Now he's a starter, so how does that look? Uh, we know about the secondary and all of those things. I'm, I'm just – I've been so impressed 
with Kirk's evolution as to a true leader of this team. And even if you don't like him, guess what? We paid him another hundred million. So get used to him and start saying positive things about him. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Um, I love it. At least pretend you like him, damn it. Um, but I've been so impressed with him. I think they're going to get the contract thing done with Dalvin. So I'm not necessarily fretting or losing sleep about that. This defense, man, I think we're going to score a ton of points, and I think we're going to give up some points. And it's going to be it's going to be ugly at times. I like Jeff Gladney. I like Cam Dantzler. But these are kids, and they're going to get burned. I mean, they're going to they're going to walk in and match up with some guys that make them look stupid. And so having Harry and having Anthony Harris on the back end, that's nice. Uh, but those are some things we're going to have to get used to. So um, I, I look at, I mean, I I just get out of bed every year and say it's a 10-win team, and I'm not going to change my, my basis on that. But, you know, I think uh, winning at Soldier Field is an A topic. You know, not getting swept by the Packers. I mean, you know, getting four to five division wins this year I think is paramount, and I think they can do that. So that puts them at 10-plus wins, competing for the division, and uh, a big opportunity, sure. I don't want to compare it all, but I'm the most excited probably since we got Randy Moss in 98. You know, we've had Troy Williamson's and Laquan Treadwell's and Cordell Patterson's and Justin Jefferson, at least, you know, from what I've seen and read, to me looks like the real deal and can come in and compete right away this year. What are your thoughts on him? Hold on. Yeah, I Justin knew it was Jefferson, no, Randy Moss. No, I'm not comparing. I, I said, felt like you were. No. <laughs> Basically, felt like you said they were the same person. <laughs> Basically, basically, uh, I nice didn't. For the gold jacket. Well, I, I do think he can compete right away, though, and I think, you know, I've heard a ton about him. You know, now that he's up here in Minnesota, he is trying to get together with people as much as he can. He ran very pro style routes in that offense down in uh, down at LSU. So, um, I think his ability to contribute early is a factor, but. I think run-heavy offense, one of three teams that ran it more than they passed it last year. Uh, so, Dalvin, let's not forget about him. Uh, let's not forget about Adam Thielen. You know, let's pray for that hamstring. Let's get 16 games out of him this year. Yep. And uh, my favorite guy, Irv Smith Jr., my fellas. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, he started coming on late last year, and he, he runs wide receiver routes, but then he can come in and block as a tight end, and he can do everything. He's a physical freaking beast. And so I anticipate him making a jump. So now, you know, what does Justin Jefferson do well? Well, we know he played like 95% of the plays out of the slot. So we know that mix. Um, he is super athletic. He's not a nine-route speedster, Tyreek Hill, goodbye type of guy, though. but he has breakaway speed. Um, I anticipate he feels to me like a big play guy. And, you know, I, I worry that people will immediately start trying to compare him to Stephon Dix who's one of the best route runners in the NFL and one of the best big play players in the NFL. So I don't want to compare him to Diggs. Uh, I don't want to, you know, make him sound like the next Randy Moss like you just did. Uh, <laughs> but I think but I think he's going to be a, you know, if he's a 50 to 60 catch guy um, and you get six to eight touchdowns out of him, uh, he's going to compete for that offensive rookie of the year honors. I think that's possible, sure. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we always appreciate you stopping by. We appreciate you staying a part of this Twist family that we are starting to build slowly but surely, and uh, we wish you nothing but the best, man. So yeah, we're not in East Bethel anymore on that yeah. 2G network. Yeah, but. we're on the real deal, <laughs> Holyfield type stuff now. So we apologize for having Greg here once again. Yeah. You know, yeah, cool. we got to bring him along. He's the third piece well, of the well, show. Well, you notice that I never mentioned him by name. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's difficult guy. to tell virtually, but I never actually looked at him on that side of the screen. Yes. Um, I'm just kidding, Greg. I like you. I get it. I you know why it. I like He's you? wearing fucking because, scrubs. No, it's just, I mean, it's awful. His team's awful. The color scheme's <laughs> terrible. All those teams over there are crap. But uh, you, but really you know feel? what? He stands tall. That's yeah. the key. Damn right. Okay? He Don't is tall. bend. You are in enemy territory, and you are treated like a second-class sports citizen, as you should be, uh, but you wear it well, and I think that I... I like you because you stay prideful about it. I appreciate that. Well, thanks again, Nordo. <laughs> I'm going to take that clip. Oh, that's All right. Peace out, hey. brother. Thanks, Cheers, Nordo. gentlemen.
Oh, oh that's great. Everybody Ooh. hates your face, it's Greg. Okay. I know. I love it. It's Greg true. showed up here. I'm surprised he doesn't have his mask and gloves on, and that's not because of the Rona. That's because yeah. he's prepped for surgery over there Damn with that right. hideous shirt. Greg, just, just know, regardless of your allegiances, I still love you, bud. Wow. Yeah, right? I love just you. Just know that. Just know that. That's all you need to know. I kind of liked it better when everyone thought that we really hated each other. Well, <laughs> there's still hate, but it's your allegiances. It's not you. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you as a person, you're about a 6 out of 10. Your yeah. allegiances are just horrible. I'll give you a 6.5. 6.5. I'll take it. Brilliant. That's All right. Excellent. In, well, the, let's... in the Minnesota school system, that's passing. Awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm excited to be here today, guys. Yeah. It's episode 29. Now, in aspect to the Vikings, that would be... Chris Boyd. Chris Boyd. Yeah. Wow. It's not Chester Te- or, or Xavier, Xavier Ru- Ru- It's Chris Boyd. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Nice. You know, Tevin, who uh, produces our show here yeah, at NBC Studios, I'm going to talk to him. When we got here, there's a couple plates out front with names. Sure. Oh, God. I think I want Twist Host Mike. I want my own parking, parking spot. spot. Yeah. I would rip on you more, but if I'm we, actually looking at how to trademark the name Green Bay Greg. If we could get three, <laughs> then we would. I mean, because we carpool. We didn't today because Matt and I were listening to Gangster Rap getting yeah. hyped up for the show. Believe it or and not. And you and Chief were listening to, I think, Shania Twain nice. when we yeah. drove by you. 70s and 80s. Music. I feel like a woman. Is that what you had on, I think, when you pulled Jack, up to the studios Jack here? FM. I'll yeah. listen to some Guns and Roses, actually. Oh, who? Lord. Hairspray. You know what I want to hear about? I want to hear about some sports. Headlines. Oh, headlines. I love yeah. that as well. We're going to kick off the show with some headlines. Beautiful. Let's get into it. From Ben's. So starting it off, NBA giving employees Juneteenth <laughs> off paid. The NBA's hopes on the June 19th holiday is to give employees a chance to reflect on black history and the current state of race in the United States. Next, we have Debo Samuels breaks his foot out in a throwing session. Promising second-year wide receiver is having surgery Thursday to repair a broken foot and expected to miss 12 to 16 weeks. That sucks. That's a bummer. Yeah. Debo. Debo. Debo him. Next, we have Buck Sterling Brown. Yes, you heard it, Greg. Bucks Sterling Brown. Yep. Who? Yeah. Sees playing as a chance for social reform as a campaign. Uh, twenty Good in twenty nineteen, Sterling Brown was actually thrown to the ground and tased in Milwaukee. Ouch! That was probably Chief who did it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> P- people can actually see us and see our messages that we give while we're playing, or at halftime, or even before a game. That's that's Sterling. It's powerful. Sterling Silver Brown. Beautiful. Next, MLB Commish Rob Manfred quickly rejects union seventy game offer. He says, this needs to be over. No shit. Yeah. Next, we have Truins remove statue of ex-owner Kelvin Griffith over comments. Griffith was a major figure in franchise history, and his comments, as I state, or as he stated, that, I'll tell you why I came to Minnesota. It was when we found out you only had 15,000 blacks here. We came here because you've got good, hardworking white people here. So his statue's out. Next, we have no positive corona tests. Matt, for... like the media, though, only read that part. Right, not correct. The whole story. Hey, that's just what I'm here. Headlines. Gotcha. Headlines here, guys. Next, no positive corona tests for second straight week on PGA Tour. They're not testing. It's a beautiful thing. They actually t- tested a total of 954 <laughs> tests in two weeks, including 98 players, caddies, and family members. Actually, they uh, Nick Watney just tested positive. My dad and I were watching it yesterday, and it went like crazy. That It was yesterday afternoon about 4 o'clock. That's, so a, got that's one. a cute story. We sure. got one! Thank, thank yeah. God you can smoke weed in the NFL now, because I could see Goodell being <laughs> like, this is how you test for corona. Pee in this cup. Pee in this cup. Well, Rory says it doesn't surprise, surprise me, because, because I, I feel, feel like, like the, the plan, plan that, that has, has been put, put in, in place, place here has, has been, been very good. good. Straight, Straight out of Rory's, Rory's mouth. mouth. Thanks, Thanks, Rory. Beautiful, Beautiful thing. thing. Yeah, yeah I appreciate, appreciate it. Keep, Keep it going. going. All right. All right. Now, now we got, we got the, the headline of the week. Of the, week. Da, 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 da. the headline of the week. Bam. Bam. Week. 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 So, so what did you pick, pick for the uh, headline, headline of the week? So, so I vetoed Greg's, Greg's pick, pick and, and I went with my own. Poppycock. We're going to Unbelievable. So the headline, headline of the week is Jamal, Jamal Adams, Adams requests trade, trade from, from the Jets. Jets. Adams, Adams has asked for the Jets for a trade and wants the team to give him permission to shop himself. 
as, as like, like Mike, Mike, he prefers, prefers to sell himself. himself. Incredible. Um, so, so we're, we're going to kind of deep dive, dive in who you guys, what, what you, you think, think of this, this and where you think he will land. land. So, so as is owed, owed 13.4 million over the next two years. Bucks. They have the salary cap flexibility to raise his salary without committing to a huge bonus. Yeah. But he wants out. Obviously, if you're the Jets, you want him. They've done a nice job of drafting morons throughout the years. Quinn and Williams, I think, was caught with a gun in an airport yeah. either earlier this year or last year. But damn good players. So um, – on Mike on the mic, I'll be going over my defenses here soon, and the Jets cracked the top ten. Wow. They might leave if Jamal leaves as well. Brilliant. So some of the teams that he had reportedly wanted to go to, and we'll choose one that we think is the best fit. Yes. The Ravens, the Cowboys, the Texans, the Chiefs, the Eagles, the 49ers, the Seahawks, and a late addition to the party, the Bucks, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yep. So essentially, oh, what he's man. saying is, I don't want to play for the Jets anymore. Put me on a playoff team. Here's the problem with what he's doing is, essentially, yeah. You yeah. like that? Keep going. Okay. The problem is, is brilliant. That years ago, the NFL, you know, got this new rookie salary cap. He's part of it now, dude. Sorry, you got to play under that salary. You got to play under your slotted spot. You know, your first round pick. You got slotted in this spot. This is how much you make. Teams are actually financially accounting for that amount of money for that amount of time. That's the problem when these guys come back and say, I want more money. Sorry, you signed a five-year contract based on your spot. You want you want to bitch at someone? Bitch at the players who agreed to this, what was it, five years ago? Yeah, under your CBA. Exactly. Right. So, and, and, it, and granted, the idea was that you're not paying guys like Andrew Luck $30 million a year. Yeah. You know, but sorry, you're, you're a byproduct of the system. Okay. Deal with it. Interesting. So that's actually a great take, Greg. But that's not a, a, at all what I yeah, fucking so asked. I asked the team? out of the I, teams. I was commenting before we went to that. <laughs> My <laughs> God, he's under the the CBA. You know, it was a brilliant take. Which stands for collective bargaining God, agreement. Poppycock. Oh, give me a team. Go. Give them to the Ravens. Just give them to them. No, yeah. don't, we'll trade them to the Ravens. I want to. I want, let's. Let's have the Ravens have a more boosted up defense. Sure. See how they play against Patty Mahomes in the AFC Championship game. That's an interesting take. Uh, I'm going to switch it. I'm going to send him to a team that's going to run into some cap trouble in 2021 with or without this add on, but I'm going to say Philly. I'm just going to go with Philly. Philly unfortunately, unfortunately, I hate, I hate Philly, Philly as, as a, a Vikings, Vikings fan, fan, but. but- that's, That's just, just where, where I see, I see him going. going. I mean, I mean they, they lost Melvin Jenkins, Jenkins in free agency. agency. They converted, they converted quarterback, Jalen, or cornerback Jalen, Jalen, Jalen Mills to start, to start safety, safety, so they're kind, kind of in need. need. Plus, Plus, you pair him with Darius, Darius Slay, Slay, and you got, got some serious DBs. So, so Ben's so going off road, road here. here. Jamal, Jamal Adams, Adams came out and said, here are the teams to trade me for. And Ben says, Philly. Yeah, I'm going off. He ain't going. This is based on the research that I've got, man. This All right. Is, this is typical. This Matt. is just I know better than you, you know, know yourself. Yeah, you know better than Jamal knows. Exactly. <laughs> I heard it from a source. Yeah. So I'm not going to put that source out there. But that's just how that I'm going to do. I'm going to Schefter. It. I'm going to Schefter it. You got all your facts from Schefter. We don't even like Schefter. Well, what's your handle? At you, Twist Benz. At Twist Benz. So for hot all, takes. all of those hot takes, you Come can find through. them at Twist Benz. Please, everybody out there, go help. Green Bay Greg, this will be the first and last time I ever say yeah. to help Green Bay Greg because he doesn't know how to use the Twitter machine. You're I gonna be you're gonna feel so I amazing t- when you follow Greg on Twitter because you're gonna be in his top. You're 10 like, followers. wow, I'm his third follower. <laughs> Actually, I think don't I have like sixty eight or something? Yeah, like the whole Bauman yeah, family. Be, right now, yeah. get there. What's your handle, Greg? GBG Twist. Oh. GBG Twist. You can be his 69th follower. <laughs> if you go to Twitter. You could be number sixty nine. Actually, I might be over. Oh no, I. Yeah, there are some people who follow me. I don't even know anymore. I don't care if I got a chief, your mom, your uncle, (laughs) your brothers, Petey. Yeah, Petey's there. I do really think that Petey has a Twitter account. (laughs) It's all Wisconsin. Yeah, just to follow you, you probably created it. All right, back on topic, Mike. You're picking a team. I I loved. Oh, the Eagles were on there. Thank you. Wow. See, you heard no Matt I retract, himself. No I retract deal. my previous comment. All right. I'm a moron. You're supposed I to love jump the, down Greg's throat. I love mind. the Ravens pick, uh, but I'm going to go on the opposite end and go Chiefs. Ooh, imagine that. 
you know, they're already going to be a dynasty without them. You yeah. got Honey Badger and Jamal Adams as your safeties. Yeah. I don't think that they want to commit money to anyone knowing they're going to be paying Patty Mahomes 50 mil a year. I didn't ask for your opinion. 50 mil? Wow. Bump that up. He's going to be getting the big bag. So GBG's got the Ravens. Yes. Benz has got the Eagles. Yeah. And I have the Super Bowl winning Chiefs. Ooh, that's a hot take. Michael Buckheister loves the Chiefs. Yeah. We love you, Buck. He's Mr. RTF. We love you, Buck. We Again, thank you, you for uh, watching us live. We are a live, interactive show. Yeah. You can also find us basically everywhere there's a podcast at Twist Sports Talk. Right. And our website, twistsportstalk.com. So for Twist. those of you that have just stumbled on this, you might think that, oh. You haven't been here from the beginning? Let's, How dare let's you? Watch, let's watch Golik and Wingo. No, it's not Golik and Wingo. It's Twist. Yeah. The Week in Sports Talk. Make sure the viewers that are watching right now are sharing this so that your family smash and friends. Smash the share. Smash the share. But, yeah. Yeah. And if you're in the comment section, if you can hear us okay, why don't you just, why don't you give us a heart? Yeah. yeah. Heart it. Maybe even a yeah, care. Not, I like or that when care Greg, one. Oh, no. When Greg's talking, thumbs down. Or the I angry like sign. Thumbs down, you, you Greg. Do How about the too? wow? Let's just do the wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. You know what? I do like the I'm going to give you some wow. Okay. I do like right the now. caring one. Go ahead. Though. Go ahead. My, what, favorite, what my favorite part yeah. of the show. I'm we gonna, got some history. I'm going to wow you yeah. with a little history. Wow. Here we go. Yeah. We Let's do have a uh, one studio audience member, Chief Bauman over there. So, Chief, buckle up. It's time to get learned in history. In 1782, Congress approves the Great Seal of the United States of America and the bald eagle as its symbol. Salute. 1837, Queen Victoria at 18 ascends the British throne following the death of Uncle King William IV. What is that, Greg? King William IV. The fourth. The fourth. She rules for 63 years till 1901. I think she had her uncle William killed. 1840. Hot take. Samuel Morse patents his telegraph. Greg still has one. 1909. The first balloon honeymoon. Three and a half hour long honeymoon on a hot air balloon. I love it. I don't want to even go there. 1936. Oh, if they banged. <laughs> on a hot air balloon? They did. <laughs> that thing was rocking in the sky. 1936. Jesse Owens of U.S. sets a 100-meter record at 10.2. Four years later, in 1940, Joe Lewis knocks out Arturo Godoy in eight for the title. Yeah. 1948, Toast of the Town, hosted by Ed Sullivan. It was Chief's favorite show, premieres on CBS. 1949, tennis star Gussie Moran shocks Wimbledon by wearing a short dress to look good and most importantly, to move more freely on the court. It's all about how you look. That's when the first thong was seen on TV as well. <laughs> 1950, Joe DiMaggio's 2000th hit. It helped the Yankees defeat the Indians 8-2. In 1966, U.S. Open Men's Golf Olympic CC, Billy Casper erases a seven-stroke deficit on the final nine holes to tie Arnie Palmer. Wins Monday 18-hole playoff by four strokes. How many strokes does it take you, Greg? 1968, Jim Hines becomes first person to run 100 meters in under 10 seconds. Wow. 1973, San Francisco Giants' Bobby Bonds, that's Barry's papa, sets NL record with 22 leading off home runs. You think they were juicing back in 73? Let's yeah. go with Yale. Yeah, well, Redman. Why not? Let's just say well, I'm yes. just The reason yeah. I was thinking, because Barry obviously juiced hard. Yeah. And Dad, you know, if he wasn't juicing, you, you didn't need to juice. I mean, right. he was hitting dongs, wearing thongs, smoking bongs. 1980, <laughs> Film Blues Brothers with Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi opens in 594 theaters. Jeez. Wow. We could be the Blues Brothers, the Blues could. Twist Brothers. Definitely could. 1988. You price. have a hat. I do. <laughs> I'm waiting to rock it. I don't think I can fit the microphone or the headphones around it, but it did come in. This one's sad. 1988. Price is Right model Janice Pennington is knocked out by a TV camera. Yikes. 
1993, the 47th NBA championship, the Chicago Bulls beat the Phoenix Suns 4-2. 1994, former NFL running back, broadcaster, and actor O.J. the Murderer Simpson arraigned on murder of Nicole Simpson and Ronald Goldman. And he's still out there tweeting videos like a moron. 2013, great day in history. The 67th NBA championship, Miami Heat beat the San Antonio Spurs four games to three. LeBron James. MVP for the second straight year. Wow. Jehu? Jehovah. Yadis. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and fly through these last ones reading real quick. Are you ready? Yeah. 2017, Tiger Woods checks into a clinic to manage his pain, medication, and sleep disorder. Following his rest, uh, driving under the influence. In 2019, NBA draft, Duke power forward Zion Williamson, first pick by the New Orleans Pelicans. Beautiful. Wow. Nicely Great done. Job. Thank Every you. time we do that bit. I feel like my IQ raises. It does. It's and not we, hard. And we for that need to it happen, to for our Wonderlick. Yeah. Well, what did you guys get on the Wonderlick, by no the way? way? I got a 42, I think. You got an 18, and Matt, didn't you get a 17? I'm pretty sure I got 69. S- I got. Ah! I always... It's all right, Greg. You know, we didn't. We took it once. You I, took it about 15 and a I half. I took times. it once. He did. He printed yeah. off the one with the high score. I got he made sure to look up and go through whatever. You got to sleep not, with yourself at we're night. We're not doing it. Gross. On to the next one. Time to rant. Let's rant and rave and get riled up for the rest of the show. Nice. How about that? Let's start over with the Green Bay Packer man, GBG himself. Wow. He, yeah. All right, I'll start it off. Sure. All right, I'm going to try to be a little more sophisticated with this rant because I'm oh talking to God. Dr. Fauci. Dr. Fauci, the what'd form- you say? Dr. Fauci, the foremost Fauci authority, the foremost authority on the coronavirus or COVID nineteen. Every time you put your mo- mouth in front of a microphone, oh, the rest of the world listens to him. He gives suggestions for everything. Now you go off and you start talking about limitations that elderly people have to stay away from. You know, different different parts of society, <laughs> and you bring up the NBA. You try telling Greg Popovich that he can't coach anymore. That ain't happening, yeah. dude. Here's something, Dr. Fauci, that you need to add to your lexicon. That's speech patterns and speech. How about the phrase, at your own risk? My dick this, just crawled inside my body. <laughs> this crap has been going on for four months that we've been aware of it. Our sh- country's been shut down for three months. Dr. Fauci, here's what you need to do. Get in front of a microphone and tell people, you can do these things at your own risk it's about time you let us get out there let the birds fly let us go out there and do our thing go out there but you know what at your own risk okay that's all i got that's brilliant you know i'm gonna shake your hand don't do it oh covid because we actually have the same rant nice um you know different topics but same target and that's dr fauci um Um, so dr Dr. fauci Fauci says says nfl NFL teams would would need need to emulate emulate plans plans by by the the nba NBA and and mls MLS for the the bubble bubble format format. All right. Unless, Unless players, players are essentially, are essentially in a bubble, bubble insulated, insulated from, from the community, community and they are tested nearly every day, it would, it would be, be very hard, hard to see how football is able to be played this fall. fall. Pump, Pump the brakes. I want to see football. Oh, oh I want some bubbles. bubbles. Like, like, so, so we have, have all, all these other countries, countries right? That this isn't just, just the United States of America, America that is dealing, dealing with corona. corona. No, no, the whole world, world is, dealing is dealing with this. But yet, yet there are plenty of leagues that are playing sports, sports correct, correct, right? That is correct. All right, all right excellent. excellent. So, so how are you to say that it is not able to be done when, when it most definitely, definitely is able to be done? done. Once, Once again, again, you're, in, you're, you're instilling, instilling panic into the, the leagues itself. Look, Look at all the players, players that are hesitant to play, to play in leagues, leagues that are coming back simply, simply because of what this, this man is saying. Is saying. So, so, unfortunately, unfortunately leave it to the CDC, back, back up a little bit, Fauci, Fauci and, and let's just proceed. Let's just proceed. Let's pump the brakes. Because we... You had, you had a nice, nice flow. flow. I, had I had a great flow. flow. Yeah. Now I don't even remember. Talking about I blacked out for most. Yeah, of I did. So did I. Every time he talks, it's like oh a. God. You ever get that quiver and then that pain in your side? You that's know when great. they just throw the nails on the chalkboard? Oof. That's. Thanks, Greg. But yeah, that's all I got. All right. Well, I'm gonna. Mine's gonna be short. Yeah. Short and sweet. Like Ben's. So Josh Allen came out and defended Stefan Diggs. Says the bad rap wasn't deserved his quote you hear all these crazy stories in the media and i think he's had a bad rap where he was at 
Well, Josh Allen, you stupid fuck. If you follow Stefan Diggs on Twitter, that's not the media spinning his words around. That's the dipshit Stefan Diggs who we ship to go play with your dipshit ass to Buffalo, New York. That's just about as bad as sending him to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Yeah. The rap was well deserved. He was toxic. And he's not a part of the Zimmer and the Vikings foundation. So I get that you got to defend your wide receiver, but at least get your facts straight. The media did not twist his words around. He would leave just little bullshit ass tweets out there and the media would talk about it doing their job. So Josh Allen, good, good luck throwing a deep ball to Stefan Diggs that he can't even catch because your accuracy is hogwash. We'll see how you feel about Stefan Diggs when you miss that initial throw and he chews oh. you out on the sidelines. He's going to throw a helmet. Throws his helmet off because that's rarely on his head to begin with. Yeah, I was going to say that's so, Josh Allen's way of saying, please don't yell at me during the season. Right. Yeah. That's, the ball 10 feet that's his one get out of jail free card. Brilliant. Well, those are the rants and now it's yeah. time for the game. I love it. Just like every week, we're going to get Doge out here. He's getting involved. Oh, God. Doge is getting involved. Doge came off a, a win last week off the porn title game. Yeah, that was highly criticized, by the way. It was highly, highly criticized. Highly, highly by criticized by my hosts over here. <laughs> Mama Beds, let me have it. Let me tell you that. I knew it. All good. I'm sure I'll hear about it at the wedding. Yeah, you will. That's for sure. So this week, it's a little bit more laid back, but trust me when i tell you twist nation that there will be another porn titles game i did go a little heavy on i think 25 questions i should have saved back but i'm creative look at greg i need to talk with him after the show greg's just greg's just like i'll I'll speak with mike yeah (laughs) whatever i don't mike doesn't listen no all right let's get into the game this is this is one everybody knows and everybody loves it's back to back nice now for the newbies who have no idea here's a little uh so back to back is the first and last name that follows into the other name so for example an indianapolis colts wide receiver who wore number 88 and han solo greg greg marvin harrison ford ding 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 that point doesn't count because that that was my radio voice too was an introduction so here we go we have 10 questions for my co-host here benzy just put on the sunglasses for everybody listening on rtfsportsnetwork.com the lucky shades are on number one let's go i dress as an old lady in my movies and this is a clothing line matt matt That can be to your advantage. Ring it in. Gives you a few extra seconds. Go ahead. I dress as an old lady in my movies, and this is a clothing line. Doge, I'm feeling for you, bud. Greg, is it Robin Williams and Sonoma? What's the name? I Nope. That is a good guess, but, but I not. also said in my movies. Right. Not just Mrs. Doubtfire, which is a classic. God, Sally Field's a fox. She still is, too. Gilf. God, I can't get it. I don't know. All right, looks like point. It's Medea. Doge. But it's Tyler Perry Tyler. Ellis. That's who it is. Yeah, I couldn't think of Tyler I Perry. I wouldn't have gotten the clothing one. No yeah, shit. we know that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if it Breaking. ain't Hanes, if it ain't Hanes or Fruit of the Loom. Breaking news. <laughs> Greg doesn't know clothing titles. He also doesn't own an iron. <laughs> Oh, oh. Number two. <laughs> I think he doesn't own an In my iron. defense, I don't own an ironing board either. Oh. oh. Well, neither do I. I just throw Bless everything you. in the dryer. Bless you, Greg. I don't know how to iron. Do you know how to iron, though? Because I've been meaning to ask when we bring these suits for Ben's wedding. Yes, I do know. How, I also know how to Double tie a Windsor. tie. I yes. do not. Yes, I know. I, neither I, do I. I've He's going to be t- tying them all up there. Bush I, I was going to say, screwed. I've already told Matt's fiance that I'm going to have to tie all your ties before the wedding. And I'm ready. And they'll all be way too long. No. Getting back to it. Number two, I'm a bad boy, and I'm a Hall of Fame Super Bowl winning New York Giant. Correct. That would be Martin Lawrence Taylor. Ding, ding, Boom. ding. Nice. Good job, I'm buddy. feeling good about Greg this week. Yeah. Yeah, I Fuck am. Off. Having a great hair day. We got a tie ball game. Doge one, GBG Here one. We go. Number three, I used to coach at USC, 
and I'm that bitch. This is a good one. Greg. Greg. Pete Carroll Burnett. I know it's Pete Carroll, but what? I'm and I'm that bitch. That bitch. Okay. That bitch. <laughs> Go ahead. Fuck. No. No. Pete oh. Carroll. That bitch. Nope. Doge. Pete Carroll Baskin. Oh, that's, come man. On. that's a gimme. That's a gimme. I didn't even oh, my watch God. Tiger. How often is me not watching a Tiger King going to bite me in the ass? I'm the one. Oh, so I'm the second person in America that hasn't seen yeah, it. Yeah, I've never seen it. Yeah, Greg doesn't support I Netflix. I refuse to watch it. Yeah. Refuse. Oh, it's funny. Doge. I mean, it's not funny what happens to the animals, but. That bitch, Carol Baskin. You I guys... have the socks. God. Oh, bless me. Question number four. I played Ray Charles, and this was a 1981 cartoon movie. Matt. Matt. Jamie Foxx in the Hound. Ding, ding, ding. Nice. Put him on the board. Here we come. Wow. He wasn't even born in 1981, Greg. What the fuck's your problem? <laughs> Let's go. Doge tied. Nope. Doge up to GBG and Ben's tied. Question number five. He's loose. And the answer. Matt. Matt. Paul Allen Iverson. There it is. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I like that. I like that one. Thank you. I was trying to That's think right. of who he says that about, and I'm like, That's Adrian right. Peterson? No, nope. yeah. overthinking it. Yeah. Overthinking it. Overthinking it. Question number six. Ben ties the game with cardboard doge. Two to two to one. Five questions remaining. Some call me the GOAT, and some call me the worst Packers draft pick ever. Matt. Matt. Michael Jordan Love. Wow, there it is. Who's, who says that he's the worst draft pick ever? Did you Everybody? not watch the draft? Did you not watch Twist did Draft you, Special? Did you, did you hear? Did you hear Tony? Greg, Manage? hold on. Do you not? Do you need? We need to replay your face and the expressions during ever? the draft. Look up the name. You had Patrick Queen, Tony, Ma Tony Mandrich. My name's oh, Greg. Here we uh, go. Tony this. Did Tony you not Matt. hear Tony Mandrich? Every time we have anybody of importance of Green Bay, and I hate to even... Oh, no, 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 yeah. Greg's like, oh, hey, Tony Mandrich. And I, he throws out Mandrich in the year just so he can sound like a fucking Packer fan. <laughs> Question number seven. <laughs> Let's go. Old weed-smoking country star and part of the Bamba squad. Matt. Oh. Willie Nelson. Greg, Greg, Greg. <laughs> it's Greg. back to back. Bruce, Damn thank you. Wow. Oh, Unbelievable. Why was it the only thing I could think of when I said Nelson was Aguilar? And I was like, that's not it. Come on. I have yeah. this shirt. And then I thought of the soda stick shirt. And I'm like, cruise missile, baby. Let's go. All right. We got three remaining. All right. Eyes Marshall Mather's nickname and the name of his record label. Matt. Matt. Slim, Shady, Enterprise? Matt. Greg, Slim Shady Productions. <laughs> that was a guess. Doge! Slim Shady Records. Wow. I'll be, uh... Running the soundboard on the way home. Doge you don't... ties it up, right? Or no? No, I think Doge is beating them. No, Doge has three. Benz has four. Okay. GBG has one. So GBG's already, it's between me and Doge now. Yeah, I but it's one, not, it's I not need one to name, close so I'm going to keep going. Correct, yeah. <laughs> Greg's going to play. Thanks, Greg. Doge has a chance to beat you. Yeah, sure You need does. one more right. to Out win. Out of the two. Yeah. Question number nine. Where Mount Rushmore is located and where Mall of America is located. I'm just looking at Greg's face. It's like, fuck, come on, Greg. Oh, no, no. Greg, Greg, Greg. Greg. South Dakota, Dakota County. Matt, South Dakota County. There you go. There, you go. there ain't yeah, two I Dakotas. It. It's called back to back. You play off the other one, you Jesus idiot. Greg. South Dakota, What's Dakota County. Wait a second. It's South Dakota County. Right. Okay, but back to back. I hate to correct you, but you said the Mall of America. 
Yeah. yeah. It's in Bloomington, which is in Hennepin County. Google it. Right now. It, it's in Bloomington. It's in, it's in Hennepin County. Maybe it's borderline. No, it's not. So Bloomington's not split between two counties? No. I Googled it and looked. I don't know, Greg. I'm going to do it right now. Considering I live in Bloomington. Oh, good for yeah, you. Yeah, but you live in What West county Bloomington. is the Mall of America located in? What do we got? Is it not it? <laughs> He's scrolling <laughs> so he knows it's not it. That's all right. Next question. Hit me with the last one. Hold on. We're gonna. F- Why? We're not going to putz Mike, on this. Mike has a special You need to do engine. better research next time. I did do better research. Come on, we Twist Nation. Help Greg me out. be right. Mall, Mall of America in Dakota County, Minnesota. Wow. County. Dakota County. We got T-Money what, Googling what, it right what, now. What, Mall of America. Bloomington, Minnesota. It says Hennepin there. Oh, my Hennepin. God. That, that's yeah, and that shows up way before whatever oh, search good. engine you're using. It says hometown oh, locator. All right. Well, we'll take it. I'll take it. All right. I know what you're talking yeah, about. It, first off, fuckhead, it's Regardless, my game. And it's hold my... on. Regardless, if that was the right answer, Greg, you still said Dakota twice. You did. So, man, come on. I have a problem with that in this game. Dakota, Dakota. All right. Question number ten. Yeah. Cop in Beverly Hills, and a 1980 sitcom. Was the Beverly Hills Cop, Greg? And a 1980s sitcom. Oh, that Greg, that would be Eddie Murphy Brown. There you go. It's not Eddie Murphy Murphy Brown. It's Eddie Murphy. Well, you finish strong, Greg. Brown. That's what it's all about. But Ben's takes the win. Now remember, at the beginning of the game, Mike said he felt good about Greg. <laughs> I love it when the pressure is on me. So thank you. It was the sunglasses. Appreciate I'm sure. Congrats. It was. Look at. Oh my God! I just look brilliant. Yeah, look beautiful. Like a blues brother. I look like a blues brother. So we're bringing it back. It's been a while since there hasn't really been much going on. Yeah. But we're bringing it back. The bet of the week. The bet of Now, the when week. we ended before this pandemic, sure. I was winning. Yeah. I win at everything. We were also betting on Russian premier soccer. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I am this week. So there you go. we uh, pointed the bet of the week. Matt, why don't you uh, tell our listeners and viewers... How we go about doing this? Sure. So for the bet of the week, you're going to have a sleeper bet, and you're going to have, have a lock, a lock bet. bet. Now, now you, you have, have a real big range of bets. Basically, anything that you could bet money on at a sports book, you can place as a bet here. Magnificent. Um, so Mike's going to keep track of those bets and obviously take down the scores moving forward. So I'll start my bet of the week as my sleeper is going to be Courtney Casey in the UFC matches tonight. She's the American fighter who has a record of 9-7-0, and and she's going to beat the Canadian Jillian Robertson, who is 7-4-0. So that's my sleeper, Courtney Casey over Jillian Robertson. And then my lock is going to be a NASCAR tomorrow, and that's wow. going to be that Kyle Busch is going to finish in the top 10 in Talladega. So, play the odds. It's probably not a great odds bet, simply because it's not a big payout. But Kyle Busch, the goat, we'll get him in. All right, Kyle, Kyle Busch, Busch top ten. Kyle Busch is the goat. He's the goat. <laughs> All right. What are you laughing about, yeah. Mister? Last time you watched the NASCAR, of NASCAR race? over there? I watch. I watch enough NASCAR. You, you yeah, he maybe watches it on Sports Maybe Center. ten deep in at Old Milwaukee. Yeah. All go right, ahead. you going or am I? Go ahead. All right, I'm going to MMA. My upset is Jim Miller going to knock out Roosevelt Hold Roberts. Hold on. You got that down as a knockout, right? Yeah. He said knockout. Yeah, I said, said knockout. knockout. Oh, he, well, he's he's a closer. So it, this like is a, he needs to win by knockout. <laughs> win you could have just said win. Okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just By KO. Right. Yeah, I love right. it. Jim Miller. Then my lock. Oh, that's, your sleeper's a knockout? Yeah. Holy this, shit. You should see this guy's left cross. <laughs> My lock is Curtis Blades over the Ruski Alexander Volkov. <laughs> the Ruski. Oh, Hold on. Oh, my God. All right. So <laughs> Straight out of a vodka bottle. We're the Ruski. We're in, oh, we're in MMA still. So Curtis UFC Blade. UFC or MMA? Curtis Blades. Blades. He's in MMA. Right? MMA, yeah. not UFC? What the hell's the difference? Mixed martial arts. That's the generic term for UFC. I know. I was okay, just so sure are these we'll UFC fighters? It. I don't know. It was on ESPN that I saw. Okay, well, I'll figure oh, it out. So, Curtis go. Blades, you have defeating the Ruski. The Ruski. <laughs> Alexander Volkov. 
I would have taken Volka, Alexander Volka. Watch him the be Ruski. Attacked. Watch nah, him be attacked. Every Not time this world. country needs a pick me up, it's always an American beating up on a Ruski. All right. Good All job, right. Greg. So the Ruski goes down as your lock. <laughs> yep. So I'm going to Nordo's favorite soccer. That's football in England. The English Premier League. The bet of the week. My sleeper. Yeah. Sheffield United. Number seven ranked, 11, 10, and seven, is going to beat the fifth ranked Manchester United, who's wow. 12, 9, and 8. Big upset. Got the seven, up. seven beating the five. Now, my lock sure. is Liverpool, who's yeah. 27, 1, and 1 with that number one ranking. Franchise. Beating Everton. Yeah. Number 12 ranked, 10, Poops. 7, and 12. So I'm not. Super happy about my sleeper, but I think my lock will at least get me to one and one <laughs> for next week on sure. the show. Excellent. So now, before this is going to be fun, it's I'm be great. S- super jacked about this. We do have the twist topics like we do every week, but we are going to start it off <laughs> with the superhero topics. Greg yeah. actually came, uh, his, his boy had a question that they talked to him and the chief and the boy. And so I, I stole it for uh, number one of our superhero Love it. topic. So yeah. let's let's dive right in. You ready? You got your capes on? Bring it. Who you got in a football game? The Justice League or the Avengers? So I know Greg did a lot of research on this. Obviously, it was a family <laughs> topic. Um, but I'm going to go first on this one. He that gave you the hand. So, I know. He's that like, way so he can't enough. steal my picks, which he probably will. I'm going to go with the Justice League. Over the Avengers, simply because they got Superman, Batman, Flash, Aquaman's drunk ass. And I think that really will mix well. So I'm going to go JL over the Avengers. All right. I'm taking the just... Well, first of all, I did hire a consultant, and all it took was a promise of a later bedtime. Sure. To get Connor so his expertise. It is the Justice League because of the GOAT, Superman. First of all, oh, Aquaman, oh, Aquaman has the same powers that SpongeBob does, and Batman isn't even a superhero. He's just a rich guy with a lot of toys. You, you know Aquaman's from Wisconsin, right? It doesn't matter. He's He's got the same powers as SpongeBob. You go with it because of the Flash, because of the Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, and the GOAT, Superman. That's why you go with Justice no League. No Batman. Batman's not a superhero. Batman is a man. He's a rich he's man. He's a vigilante. Yeah, he's a rich man with money. He's not a superhero. He's the Justice League's water boy. Exactly. There you go. So the seven original members of the Justice League, they were mentioned, the Green Lantern, Mm -hmm. Flash, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Martian Manhunter. Wow. Martian Manhunter. Greg had that comic. So the Green Lantern is an alien, right? Superman is a god. Sure. And Wonder Woman is basically... A god. She's an Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So you got two gods and an alien, and then the rest are Aquaman is, but he's in the water and we're playing football. Exactly. Right. right. So he's out. Batman's out. I've never fucking heard of Martian Manhunter, but he sounds like a badass. Oh no shit. So we'll just say we got a couple gods and an alien. He's probably got the same logo as Mike on the mic. It's a pretty lit team, pretty lit logo. I bet. The Avengers, according to Marvel, on screen include the following Iron Man. Yep. Captain America. Right. Thor, Spider-Man, Hulk, and War Machine. So Iron Man, cool suit, he's a man. Exactly. War Machine, same suit, different colors, man. Thor, God. Captain America, can age, as we've seen. (laughs) Yes. Shocker. Badass, he's like any uh, guy on steroids, but he... (laughs) He doesn't. If he gets shot, he gets shot. Yeah. Why dodge bullets if yeah. you could take it? You right. can't take it. Exactly. And Spider Man's a badass. Sure. But he's also a man. Great. So the correct answer is Justice League. You guys are correct. Yeah. Thanks. We appreciate well, it. Yeah. Cool. Glad we're right. Yeah, that's good. So two gods in an alien verse, basically yeah. one god and some cool guys. But the Avengers movies, way better. Yeah. Brilliant. Superhero topics. Number two. Yeah. So we're going to take some of these guys and even other guys, and we're going to do a fantasy football draft. Right, now, so who gets uh, the first pick? I don't know. Let's ask our, uh, our our one-man audience over here. Why don't you pick our order for us, Chief? Why do I feel I'm going last? And then Greg. Bullshit! <laughs> Have some. All right, that's fine, Matt. 
See, oh. I knew I was his favorite. Oh, I love you, Chief. All right, so with my first pick, I'm going to do a sleeper because I know Greg's probably going to take who he wants. So I'm going to take Thanos as my first pick. How can a super Thanos? He's a bad guy. He's a bad He's guy. A bad guy. Th- Thanos has superhuman strength, speed, stamina, durability, agility, and longevity. What a douchebag. Skilled bag. hand-to-hand combat. Genius level tactician. Plasma energy projection. He's a bad guy, And though. he can... He's what does it matter hero. if he's good or bad? That's Greg? your hero. Fucking take him. Take him. What? He doesn't. Thanos doesn't even have the he's... rings anymore, so he's basically you, Greg. Well, I got him with the rings. Go ahead. He's snapping. No, up. you're gonna take Thanos. Go nuts. I'm taking Superman. Good. I'm, I'm taking the goat. Good. Good for you. Good for you, Greg. Okay. Yeah. I'll have Thanos put a little bit of that. So I get. In his fucking I get hand. back to back picks here. Yeah. Yep. So Snake draft. with my first pick right. in the first round, pick number three, according to. Chief, who will, I will never take out to lunch <laughs> no. again. So thank you for that. I am going to take Supergirl. Wow. Good for you. Yeah. Why not? That's an interesting pick. Why did take a female as your first pick? Breaking news. I'm all about, you know, fair equality. Hashtag diversity. Diversity we trust. Yeah. So I'm going to take Supergirl. Yeah, nice pick. And then I'm going to take the Hulk. Brilliant. Offensive line taken care of. Wow. Uh, Offensive line? Yeah. He's my running back. I, I don't know about that. He's not very uh, nimble. <laughs> I don't need him to be nimble. No. He's going to fall over. He's down. So Supergirl and Hulk. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going Thor. Okay. I'm taking a guy who doesn't age. Yeah. He's a god. Yeah. So you got a couple gods. God. You're a strong team so far, Greg. Godly. Godly. So then what I'm going to take next is going to be Cyborg. From Cyborg. the Justice League. Okay. Superhuman strength, advanced sensory systems and scanners, inbuilt weaponry, including a sonic <laughs> cannon. Now, the sonic cannon is going to help a lot when he needs to take get Hulk down on first and ten. So, sure. So, Cyborg is my second pick. All right. And you got back-to-backs. You're that first overall pick. All right. So, with my next pick, I am going to take... Another sleeper in my draft. I'm going to take the Red Tornado. Ooh. Justice League. All Once right. again, win manipulation in case you got to kick a deep. Yeah. A deep kick. Also, uh, changing from android to human form at will. Beautiful. Great. Red Tornado. Are you keeping track of your picks? Yep. Got All it. right. Perfect. So we got Thor. We got the Hulk. We got that off. I have... None of his people on my <laughs> I was list. Say, I was Beautiful. Say, my top, I love it. The top two on my big board are on my team right now. Wow. Good. I'm All glad right. they I'm are, going, Greg. I'm going another, I'm going alien with my number three pick, going Green Lantern. Good, as Ooh. you should. That's a bum pick. Bum pick. Oh. That's the Jordan love of this draft. Perfect. I'm yeah. going to go Doctor Strange. Ooh, I like that one, yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> That's a brilliant pick. Ooh, brilliant. I love it. <laughs> he's going to catch the ball and disappear and end up in the end zone for a touchdown. And he's loose. And my second pick sure. is going to be Ant-Man. Oh. Ant-Man. Yep. See, he turned into Giant Man. You know that, right? He can do both. Right. but he... So he's blocking kicks, right. and yeah. then he takes that football, and he goes bloop, and he disappears. Gone. Touchdown. Gone. I don't know if the, so I'm does doing the football just... shrink. Everything shrinks that he touches, wow. even his pecker. So I Doctor Strange and the Ant Man. So I'm not just going brute force. No, you're you got a, you got a lot of thought behind this. Okay, thank you for my next for ni- my next pick. I'm uh, going with a theme here. Herm Edwards said, "What's your best ability? Availability." I'm taking guys who don't die. I'm going Black Panther. Oh, there you go. Hashtag and crazy. how many you got? Is that four? I got four. So you're climbing back up. You'll end at five. Right. And this is your fourth and fifth, correct? Correct. And then I'll just have one pick at the end of the draft. So with the fourth round pick for Team Benz at Twist Men's, I'm going to choose Spider-Man just because I like Spidey. Sure. Period. That's why I'm taking him there. And fifth, I'm going to go with another sleeper, and that's going to be Kongorilla. Kongorilla. Kongorilla, also known as the human form of Congo Bill. Now, he can grow as large as he wants. Are you trying to lose? So, there's that. Body of a golden gorilla healing factor. All right. Love that. And with, Kong your, last, gorilla. with your last pick. That, that that was. That was your fourth. Yeah, no, he did. Uh, no, Spidey. Oh, God, yeah. Spidey. His picks are so bad, I'm, like, falling asleep while he's doing them. So, we'll review at the, we will review at the favorite. end of the show. 
and we will put up a poll. Yes. Yeah, poll Who it. does have the best superhero fantasy draft? Football and, uh, team. Greg yeah. and I. Greg and I already know Matt's out. Yeah. Congorilla. So basically, I'm liking your draft. So we'll review it here in a minute. Last yeah, pick. Congorilla is like the Daniil Hunter of this draft. Okay. Last Whatever. pick for Greg. I'm going with the Amazon. Going Wonder Woman. Oh my God! Here we go. The only one who is able to fight off Superman in yeah, yeah. a Justice League movie. Her and Superman will be banging in the corner. They won't even be it's able to She her. is so beautiful. On oh, to the next yeah, one. Gail Godot. Oh, God, I love her. Gorgeous. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so Wonder Woman picked by Greg. Go ahead. I might need to hold on a minute. I'm thinking, Spidey was on your list. Thinking I about saw that. Wonder Woman over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so last pick. Last pick. Go ahead. Take him. He's right there. Spider-Man is gone. Tyree Kill. No. Pick him up. I'm going to go Vision. Oh, you messed it up. You wow. should have taken Flash. He went, he went, I'm in his head. He went Vision because I went Wonder Woman. Yep. <laughs> I don't right. need Flash. Why? Because I have people who shape shift and <laughs> make time disappear. Oh, my God. Get a life. Vision. Vision is unlike any superhero I understand. out there. So I will go through mine since I just did my last pick. And again, Twist Nation, RTF Sports Network, and Twin Cities Network, we will put up a poll for you to vote the winner of the Fantasy Football Superhero Draft. Sure. Team Mike, Doctor Strange, Ant-Man, Incredible Hulk, Super Girl and Vision. Greg. Um, all right. My picks were Superman, Thor, Green Lantern, Black Panther, and Wonder Woman. Hell of a team. <laughs> <laughs> so so my pick is Get out your Google machine for these guys. Thanos Cyborg. He's not a superhero. He's a part of the Avengers, Greg. No, he's not. Okay, he's yeah, in the, the movie. The word hero implies He's a good part guy. of the Avengers. Thanos. Thanos, <laughs> Cyborg, Red Tornado, Kong Gorilla, and Spidey. All right. Well, you heard it. You vote for so it later. So which one of us, Mike or I, which, one, which team do you like better? Greg or myself. Fuck you both. All right. In the last topic. Yeah. Ah, uh, shit. There what? we go. If you could have the powers of one superhero, yep, whose would it be, and why? All right, first of all, oh, he's ready. I just want to do a public service announcement. Any ladies who are watching, ask your man this: if their answer to this question is invisibility, they're hiding a criminal record from you. Mine is <laughs> fuck you, Greg. <laughs> That's yours. No, no. <laughs> it's say. not. Wait, now the Anyone? question wasn't what superpower; it's whose superpowers would you like right a yeah, character you get to be yourself yeah i understand that but it's the character you choose whose powers you get yeah it's correct. not just one power no right you're not like fly I'm, i'd like to fly right 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 i'm going green lantern i want the green i want the green. i want the that? i want green. the ring Weird. i want the ring and i want to transform into just different shit i'm going green lantern that plus, is beyond belief plus i've been told a lot that i look like ryan reynolds by myself oh my god go ahead mike oh no I just saw who yours is. I'm going. Nightcrawler. That's who I got, bro. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Oh, my God. Well, go ahead. Why? Name one thing why you like it. Well, teleportation ability. Exactly. I'm Am rich. I right? But not only that, you got the camouflage. Yeah. Oh, cling to surfaces. Nightcrawler. All day. Way better than And you know why? Because I'm going to teleport on into a big, fat-ass bank. Yeah. Stacks of cash. Right. And then I'm going to camouflage. What was that movie? Yeah. What was it? That's what I was thinking. I don't know, but he did that. That's what made me think about it. No, oh, what was that movie? It was a great movie. He could teleport, and he was a bank robber. <sighs> and and Samuel Jackson. Yeah, he was down. the bad guy. Oh, man. Now I'm going to If, if uh, anybody out there knows what we're talking about, yeah, he was comment. a very good-looking, handsome lad. Greg tells himself all the time that he looks like him, too. We would love to know what the name of that movie is. It does not Jumper. Start right. Jumper. 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 Thanks, Google. My hand hurts a little bit I appreciate bit you that trying that five. on the screen as well, Team Money. You're on point. All oh, right. All right. So now that we've gotten through those, it's time to get down to brass tacks and really get into the twist topics that are going on right now. So twist topic number four is... Du uh, hold on. Yeah. I was rolling. You got someplace to be? What? First off, you don't do the twist Why topics. Why not? 
and you start at number four. This is oh. God damn it. God. Well, yeah, it's just sip, sip. No, it's not. It's twist topic number one, and you just sit back and do your damn I'm gonna job. Re, I'm Why gonna don't re, you take a time I'm going to reorganize them now. Twist topic number one. Fine. Does removing the Confederate flag in NASCAR make the sport more appealing to African Americans? I'm going to go with, let's ask the audience they're looking to appeal to. If Alvin Kamara, an NFL running back, starts showing up at NASCAR events and says... Because they removed the Confederate flag, I'm going to go with yes. I think sure. that's their goal. I'm going to say yes, it does make it more appealing simply because it shows that NASCAR as a bigger, you know, like viewpoint. NASCAR is trying to appeal to them. So therefore, yes, it does. Hmm. Mike, how do you feel? Well, it just it makes me think of it. So they remove a flag, it becomes more appealing. That's sure. like not um, because down- of the flag itself, which that's the little thing. That's like but. downtown cabaret removing their undies and making it more appealing. Correct. Absolutely it does. <laughs> right. Which a- <laughs> there you go. Yeah. She loves that one. Way to win them over. You're gonna give me boobies and vagina? I'm there. All right. <laughs> Twist topic <gasps> number two. Yeah. What's your take on players in the NBA skipping Orlando until there's a reform? That is crazy to me simply because it's your job. You're not be- bigger or better than your job. If my job told me that I need to go back to work, I need to go back to work, regardless of what's going on on this earth that we live on. So, yeah, that's my Yeah, he, notice Mike's question wasn't anything to do with corona. It was reform. Well, what better way to get the reform you're looking for than to be in the spotlight? That's like saying, I want to fix something. So I'm going to go in my basement and hide under my bed. That seems to be quoted by Sterling Brown of the Bucks. Good job, Greg. Milwaukee. To Bucks. me, you have players, and I'll always fall back on LeBron James. Really? LBJ. So before there is rioting and looting, you know, because of the tragedy that happened here in Minneapolis, he's been doing stuff, building schools for, you know, African-American kids in Ohio and, and actually does things to make, you know, his area – and, you know, life for people better. So people like Dwight Howard and Kyrie Irving and, yeah. you know, they're bums. Why don't you do right. something, you know, Monday through Saturday and, and then just, you know, when a Sunday pops up, well, now I want to do it today. Does mm-hmm. it really take some tragedy to actually make a difference? No. Shut the fuck up. Act like LeBron. Exactly. LeBron is very philanthropic. He is. And there's plenty of players that have been tweeting saying, let's be honest, if the twin, if the king plays, we all play. Yeah. That right. would be Patrick Beverly. Yeah. If at King James said he hooping, we all hooping. Not personal, only business. Hashtag stay woke. Stay woke. I had Brilliant. that. I like that. Wow, you like you, that? You I that. threw that up and nice. alley ooped it. Oh, Bang! And I banged it down. There you go. Twist topic number three. Is MLB trying to strong arm the players now because of the CBA negotiations that are coming up next year? The NBA is trying to fuck this up as best as possible in 15 different ways. MLB, right? MLB. Yeah, that was a prodigious comment. It's okay. Jeez, Greg. Wow. It's okay. Mike's word of the day. I got you. Prodigious. Prodigious. Okay. Okay, what's your take? So that was your take? All right, so no. MLB is strong-arming players because they have that power. However, I don't necessarily think it's directly linked to the next year's CBA. I think more in part is that the MLB players need to t- turn around and take a look at how much they get paid in comparison to all other leagues in the United States. They get big, big bags of money, so they need to take that into account. But, yeah, they, have, they can strong-arm them simply because it's the MLB. That's my take. It's about time the owners start doing something, you know, where they get the benefit of the doubt because the MLB Players Union is like the strongest union in the world. Right. So it's about time they get one. Yeah, and I think they probably are trying to strong, you know, hold them, but I I think it's going to bite them in their ass next year. To me, you try and get something figured out now in the hopes of next year, it's just easy breezy. It's like, Mm -hmm. look, when this happened, we worked together great. We're obviously all on the same page. Let's... Let's get this done and work together, and it's for the fans. But it's not. It's all about the Quan, mm-hmm. yep. and the owners fucking suck. Yep. And I'm just nervous that there's not going to be any sports 
especially basketball. Sure. You know, they, they identify it. We got a date. We got a place. We're doing this. We're doing that. And now it's like backpedaling a little bit. And like right. we talked with Nordo, for the NFL's sake, you bet your ass there will be zero positive yeah. tests because nobody's getting tested. Exactly. Right. They're going to the test NFL, them now yeah. just to make it look good. One test on paper. Yeah. That's it. And they're going to have a guy like me on their roster that will get tested, and they'll guy hope like that I – Craig. Well, I, I'm just saying some random guy that doesn't matter. Oh, and they'll, okay. have, they'll have him show up as positive just so they can say, sure. hey, we're testing everyone. This guy just happened to be the guy. Brilliant. So twist topic number four, I had to throw this one out there. My boy, Bronny James, was yeah. in the news. His teammate was quoted saying, by the time he's a senior, he might be the best player in the world. Sure. Do you agree? No. I do not. I don't, I don't wow, think so. What a great take. Um, I think that, you know, seeing him in person, even though obviously he's still young, obviously he wasn't out there playing a lot of minutes necessarily, even just that shoot around. He's going to be a great tool player, but he's nowhere near the LeBron cal- caliber. And to see the other people that have already grown into, you know, grown men and that are taller bigger faster stronger i'm gonna go with he won't be the best player in the world as a senior he'll definitely be he'll be a stud there's no doubt about that that's like saying you're not gonna slang chicks when you're a senior in high school compared to when you're a ninth grade freshman sure. bitch right yeah I was there's gonna... a there's gonna be a lot of change from what we saw we'll at the see. target center to senior year does that right. mean he's gonna be the best in the world no but he's not going to be freshman year brawny. Right, I get yeah, that. I was gonna say, His talk- dick's going to grow by seven inches. Oh, well, that's a, that's a more graphic way of, than me saying, let's wait for the kid to go through puberty first. <laughs> Dude's, <laughs> Dude's getting mad bitches already. Oh, so my God. Flocking. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. Oh. I'm sorry, Mama Ben's, too. Terry, it's all right. Kelly, it's all right. It's what it's all about. Welcome Greg, to Greg, do you know how you got here? <laughs> Terry and Ed fucked. <laughs> Sorry to say it, but they did. Oh. Dan and Kim Reeves, they banged. They still do. Yikes. Sex, intercourse, <laughs> love making. Let's let's stay woke, okay? Stay woke. Hashtag, Hashtag stay fucking woke. Yeah, Greg, you're supposed to be the mature one out of all of us. Sex you're is beautiful. To Twist topic number five. It's a yeah, beautiful sure. thing. All right, go ahead. It's your bit, so let's go. Twist topic number five, run it. Twist topic number five. All right, last week we did our top ten NBA players, but we only named ten through six. Right. Do you guys still have your no. ten through six recorded? No. Yes, sir. Of course, Matt doesn't. I got them recorded at he home. He does his show prep while he's taking a shit <laughs> an hour before the show. <laughs> I did mine yesterday, actually. I appreciate you Translates guys. Translates well. F off. So now I'm going to go first since I've got it done. So, at number five, I've got Luca. At four, James Harden. Three, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Two, LeBron James. And one, the claw, Kawhi Leonard. How? I know it's our opinion, but you're wrong. Yeah, that's how. That's how. Name, name where I'm wrong. Unbelievable. Let's hear it. I'm about to. How? Number five. Hold on. Oh. No. Since we're both prepped and ready for the show, why don't you give our listeners and our viewers what your 10 through 6 were? Sure. Great Leading idea. Leading up to your top five. Number 10, Porzingis. Hmm. Number 9, The Cat. 8, AD. Number 7, Russell. 6, Booker. Drum roll for the top five. Top five. <laughs> Damian Lillard, yeah. four, Kawhi Leonard, Holy three, cow. Luka, two, <laughs> LeBron, number one, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Oh, my God. So you got Kawhi Leonard, arguably the best player in basketball right now. At number four. Right at number four. And you yes. got Luka. Right behind number three guys three. better than him that are arguably oh my God. better than How? him. How has Luka shown you that he's better than Kawhi Leonard? Name name. Tell me how. He has the potential to be, and that's about it. Sure, Greg. that's about it. So that shows me right there your top ten is hogwash. Blasphemous. Right. Because you're putting a guy based on your opinion above him rather than... Which is exactly what this is. It's no, but you were opinion. just saying Kawhi Leonard is it, worse than Luka Doncic. And they're four and three. Greg, nope, you're still saying. Go get a haircut. I do need a haircut, Jesus by the way. Christ. When are you going to cut my hair? Stick to, <laughs> stick to Wisconsin sports. Poppycock you... comments like that, never. Number 10 on my list was Devin Booker. Number nine, Damian Lillard. Yeah. Eight, Steph Curry. Seven, James Harden. Right. Six, Anthony Davis. Brilliant. Luca does top my top five at five. Five, yeah. Number four, KD, Kevin Durant. 
Ooh. Number three, Kawhi Leonard. Number two, Giannis. Giannis <laughs> Antetokounmpo. Giannis number two. <laughs> and you already Gee, knew. Mike, who do you have number one? You already knew. LBJ. LBJ. Yeah. LeBron James. Brilliant. That's all the time we got. Let's uh, hit that Dima Cash twist outro. Thanks again, Bricks Boatworks. Thanks again, <laughs> Nordo. Thanks again, Chief. Thanks again, Twist Nation, RTF Sports Network, Twin Cities Network. We'll see you next week for Twist the 30. Nation. For 30. I need my pen back. Twist Nation. We're talking sports with a twist, no script. No script. Legends coming through on the guest list. Let's get it. TC, Minnesota, land of the lakes, Boo, Green Bay. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Yeah, let's go with the woes, you know we don't play We get wild every single day We got our flaws, but we love our saints Twist nation, go 